Buffalo makes a list of best places to live. We're talking about it with Susie Lenahan with MJ Peterson Realty. Susie, good morning. Good morning. U.S. News out with the 100 best places to live, and Buffalo comes in at 33rd this year. We haven't even made this list ever in the past. It's a big deal, isn't it? Very, very exciting. And isn't it interesting we rank above Tampa, Florida? How about that? How about that? Um, the ease of living in Buffalo is is so important. It, uh, commute times are not very much at all and just easy to get around in the city. Uh, great neighborhoods, great walking. Uh, it's it's really, um, it's we're, we're back on the map again. We have so many cultural, our sports teams, the waterfront, our restaurants and bars. It's just uh, very exciting. I know, obviously, most people who come to you are already looking in the Buffalo area, but if you had to sell Buffalo based on one thing, what is that uh, one thing? You mentioned a few of them right there that kind of puts Buffalo over the top of some of these other metro areas. Well, again, the ease of, of living here, uh, it's, it's just very easy to be here. This was some out-of-town clients uh, this past weekend, as a matter of fact, moving back to Buffalo from the New York City area. And I'm sure we've all heard this before. Um, but um, the gentleman said to me, I have the ability to buy a really nice house here in Buffalo. I could buy a garage in the greater New York area. Uh, but here I can buy a house for my family. It's, it, he's like over the top. He's coming in with the medical campus. Uh, has a job here and just couldn't be more excited to be in Buffalo. Boy, that's a great story. Talk about the demand for properties in Buffalo right now. Never been higher, and our inventory has never been lower. We need more. Um, we need more, more properties on the market. Everybody out there, put your house on the market. We can sell it for you. <laughs> Does that threaten at all uh, the affordability of Buffalo? Uh, you mentioned there, and a lot of people look at Buffalo as a great, affordable place to live, but uh, low availability, high demand. There's got to be something there that'll push that over the edge. Well, it is driving the prices up um, somewhat. Yes, we're still so much. Uh, lower than other parts of the country, though. It's, it's still a really, really good bargain. Um, but, yeah, the lack of inventory will has, has driven the prices up in the past uh, year, 18 months. This has got to be kind of fun for you. I know I've seen your name in, in real estate for years. I mean, you've been around long enough to see full circle, right? I have seen the full circle. Indeed, I have. The good, the bad, the ugly, as we say. Uh, I've been in the business for a long time, and it's uh, I, I never really thought that we'd see this renaissance again in Buffalo, and here we are. It's just very exciting. It's a very exciting time to be selling real estate in Buffalo. You, you mentioned full circle. Do you see this new resurgence as a lasting one, or are we kind of uh, peaking here and it will fall off a little bit? No, no, we're not We're not peaking at all. We continue uh, to be on the uptick. The amount of private development in the greater Buffalo area is really something. We haven't seen that in 50 years. Not just government, but private money into all sorts of, of uh, projects is very exciting. The new uh, apartments and condos and lofts that are going in are unprecedented. Uh, it's just very exciting to see all of this, and it's the private dollars for the most part. It's a fun time. Susie, thanks so much. Thank you. All right. That's Susie Lenahan with MJ Peterson Realty.